don't forget that this tutorial is part of a series of tutorials which you can access on our YouTube playlist or alternatively if you would like to you can purchase the whole course on Udemy there should be a link to the YouTube playlist and a link to our Udemy course which should always provide the best price in the video description. Hopefully at this point, if you have watched the previous tutorial, if you are new to relational databases, you've got a general understanding of the basics of establishing relationships in relational databases. So we were focusing on at this point foreign keys and we've seen that that represents a, a one to many relationship between tables. So let's now in this tutorial actually apply what we established in the previous tutorial the relationships between the tables and put that into our models. So let's start off with the product table. We have two foreign keys, the category and the seasonal event. So let's go ahead and add that now into the model. It is fairly straightforward to add the foreign keys into the model. So here we start with the product model. You might choose where to define your foreign keys. So for consistency, you might add it below the initial fields. So let's go ahead and add a foreign key to category. And then we're going to need to also add a foreign key to the seasonal events. So seasonal event. OK, so I'll think, keep it all singular for now. So here we are not necessarily specifying a field type as such. Um, in the traditional sense, but we are going to specify foreign key. So category equals and then models dot models dot and then foreign key. So we're going to need to specify two things here. Uh, first of all, the relationship. So this field is going to re be related. The foreign key is going to be the connection to the related table. So we need to specify the related table. In this case, it's going to be the category table. So I specify category table and then the second element that we're going to need to include is what will happen when we were to delete this data. This is the on delete argument, which I will discuss in more detail in the next tutorial, but let's add the on delete. So on underscore delete and that's going to be models dot and then I'm going to set what I would des describe as a default cascade. Now I'll explain what that happens in a second, but let's first of all identify what the problem is here. So it says that category is not defined. The problem here is the hierarchical placement of the class of the category class in that it's defined after the product class. So if I were to uh, move the category class above the product class where it's already defined, therefore it can be found. So the problem will not exist here. But here in Django, we the actual placement or the ordering of your classes doesn't really matter. What we can do is in this case, just wrap it up in singles. Then that will then still find the category class as and when we initiate this code. You might prefer for consistency to actually set the ordering so that you do or do not have to add the double or singles here, defining the different um, classes or the different models when defining the foreign keys. That's completely up to you. Um, let's, actually, let's put it in an order so we don't have to do that. So let's add the category above. And then we don't need to wrap the category then up in line 36 here. OK, so let's just finish off the seasonal events. So it's going to be exactly the same for the seasonal events. Let's just move it so it is above the product. So when we define it, we won't have that issue. So again, that's just going to be called models dot foreign key. And then this time it's going to be the seasonal events. And then we need to specify the on delete. So, so we specify on delete equals Again, we just go for a cascade. There we go. OK. Oh. You might prefer for consistency to actually add the models above. 
so that it can be called without using the double or singles here when we specify the foreign key just to be consistent so I'll do that for both the uh, category and I will also move the seasonal events above so therefore we don't have to utilize in line 43 doubles or singles when specifying the class so in this case category so we go ahead and just specify models dot uh, foreign key we we'll set the foreign key in this case to seasonal events class and then we we'll do the on delete on delete equals models dot cascade okay so that's the two foreign keys defined now within the product table so we also need to add a foreign key into the product line product to product uh, actually um, product to the product table so we'll do that next so in the product line let's go ahead and add product equals models dot foreign key and this is going to be the product table and then let's specify the on delete equals models dot cascade and then finally the product image so this is going to be product uh, product line equals model dot foreign key uh, product line on delete equals models dot cascade so although I will like I said explain in more detail the on delete in the up and coming tutorial let's just briefly describe what it is that we're trying to achieve here so what we're doing when we create a, a foreign key we're saying that the product table needs to have an actual product before we can actually create a product line remember the um, product line has the foreign key to the product table so when we create a new product line say the red version of this shoe one we would need to populate the foreign key field with something so therefore the product table and data must already exist for us to actually assign for example red green and blue here uh, product lines to the shoe one in the product table so with the on delete we're simply asking ourselves what should happen should we delete if we delete the shoe one from the product table which is connected to this case three rows in the product line table what should happen to the data in the product line table if we were to delete shoe one in the product table because utilizing like we set up here so far cascade what that means is that should we delete shoe one in actual fact it's going to delete it's going to cascade and delete all the products in the product line table that's associated to that particular shoe so that's the current setting that we defined on delete models dot cascade should we delete the parent if you like um, product in the product table or the product line rows or records that are associated to that product line will also be deleted that is of course not necessarily a most desirable effect and we can control that and we will discuss that later but that's what we have defined and it's something that we will need to define and to determine which approach to take but hopefully that's been a good starting point for you to understand the basics of establishing relationships in a relational database and then also a good starting point for you to see how you can apply this knowledge to create the foreign key in this case and to effectively integrate that within your database structures of course this is just the starting point we need to cover now many to many relationships one-to-one -one relationships but next I wanted to discuss something you might see in examples creating a foreign key that refers to itself